We're talking about the film Moonlight. The highly acclaimed movie is sparking necessary conversations in the black community about sexuality. Statistics show that suicide is the leading cause of death among gay and lesbian youth nationally. 30% of gay youth report having attempted suicide by the age of 15, and nearly half say they've tried to end their lives more than once. Dr. Tiffany Sanders, a friend of ours here, mm -hmm. is a Chicago area family therapist here with some insight to Absolutely. this. Let's first talk about homosexuality in the black community. Historically, the black community has been homophobic, wouldn't you say? Absolutely. It's sort of a taboo subject for us because, you know, many of us grew up in the church and the church doesn't preach it preaches against homosexuality you know it, it talks about a man marrying a woman so anything that's contrary to that that's looked at upon as a sin and so we tend to uh, you know ostracize and demean those who decide to uh, pursue or live a homosexual life if that's what they identify with yeah and it's been like that historically but it's still like that how do we change the mindset well we have to change the mindset by normalizing it and many people you know are born homosexual you know, or, or they, they have experiences and they love it. And so we have to be okay with that choice that person is making and not try to demonize them because they want to choose a different lifestyle than what we're accustomed to. And we cannot just say, hey, well, you need to be, a, you know, a heterosexual male, a heterosexual female. And if you're not, then you're a sinner. And that type of language is incendiary and it really hurts the, that community. How, how, and we were talking about the, homos, uh, the suicide rate, I'm sorry, right. among, you know, 15 year olds or whatever who are homosexual. Yeah. That is just amazing. Well, you know, if you don't feel that people will accept your identity, right. you're going to feel more likely depressed, anxious. You don't know who you can turn to. And those feelings will, will come up in a way that you're, you're just saying, I don't want to live anymore. Right, and you can't turn to your family in some cases, too. You can't. I but mean, there are many families who embrace it, but there are many who right. don't. But many schools have done really well with putting, you know, up, you know, rainbows or other signs that show that, hey, we support you, that you can kind of come in and talk to us. So our kids don't feel like they are, you know, quietly having to deal with this on their own. We talk about what society should do to change right. but and, and deal with it, but how do the poor people, I shouldn't say poor people, but how the people who right. are suffering from this, you know, those who are homosexuality and mm -hmm. who are afraid to come mm -hmm. out, you know, gay people who are afraid to come out or do come out and then get this backlash. Right. How do they deal with it? How do we tell them to handle this? Well, that's part of the issue. They are afraid to come out. Right. So they have to find maybe counselors or loved ones who are going to be sensitive to what they're dealing with, who can give them a, a kind ear and who can encourage them and give them resources. Um, you know, hiding it and hiding who you love isn't going to make you feel better. But it's it, tough to be brave, doctor. It is. You know, it's tough to, to be that one that comes out and say, I, I'm gay, mm -hmm. I'm lesbian, I'm, I'm bisexual. Mm -hmm. But it's okay. There are communities. We have Boys Town here in, in Chicago. We have places in Atlanta, uh, San Francisco, New York. There are communities that accept, you know, who you are. And we have to make sure we point these people in the right direction. But when do we get to the point where the world is accepting? Everyone is accepting. Well, you know, across the world, sometimes people are actually jailed or killed for, for being homosexual. Mm -hmm. So we haven't gotten there yet. But I think as we become, um, Hollywood has helped with that. Mm -hmm. You know, Hollywood is like Moonlight. With yeah. Moonlight, of starting course. Starting the conversation, Starting the conversation, conversation. And, you know, uh, Empire, which mm -hmm. is filmed here in Chicago. So that helps with that conversation and normalizing it. These individuals are, are human, yes. just like you and I are. Yeah, the LGBT community is getting stronger, definitely, yes. giving uh, people resources to mm -hmm. go to to help them to do that. Absolutely. But as a child, it's a little bit different when you're a teenager. Yeah, when you're a teenager, you know, you don't know where to turn. You, you're trying to understand these feelings and emotions you have and, and who you like and who you don't like. And so it's kind of scary for them. They're going to be saying, well, who do I talk to? How do I understand these emotions? And you got to be talking to the right people and counselors, guidance counselors, school psychologists, social workers. We're trained to help you make sense of those feelings that you have. Right, yeah, social media is another one that could be tough. Yeah, well, social media is, you know, there was a case back in New York where, you know, the roommate took a picture and photograph or video of his roommate having a gay relationship. Social media has been a bully to those in the LGBT community, and we have to uh, speak against that. We should tell folks out there who are listening and they're afraid, it's okay, There's an there are answers out there and there are resources and out there. there are people like you and I that are accepting and we yes. want to help them out. Definitely. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. It. Thank you, and find more information about Dr. Tiffany's services and where to find her offices, and if you want to call her or yes. talk to her, drtiffanysanders.com.